Shift right. Shift right. As the morning sun shines over the orchard training area, a squad of soldiers storms this building. Sergeant Ori Becker and the rest of a second squad provide cover, firing blanks at any pretend terrorists who attempt to leave. Second Lieutenant Dan Bushnell says soldiers of today stand out as much more flexible than previous generations. These soldiers are extremely adaptable. They adapt to changing climates, changing uh, circumstances that they have before them, and they make decisions very, very quickly. That's their biggest strength, and a lot of that is based on um, the society that we have today. I understand what he's saying. It's my generation too. In fact, Sergeant Becker and I grew up together in Lewistown, Montana. These were the best pictures I could find. Dude, I've known you for a long time. If, there, if there's one thing I think that as a hobby that's been a, a cornerstone of our, of, of our friendship, what's a, a thing that you've done a lot? Play video games? <laughs> Bushnell says the military is now designing many weapon systems after video games. Uh, because that's what a lot of these younger soldiers from the age of 18 up to 25 and uh, all the way up to 30 are very familiar with. He says being used to constantly changing technologies has made infantry smarter on the ground. But my hometown buddy Ori says they need a lot more than that. It might help with the strategy, but this you actually got to be out doing it on your feet, training and doing stuff that video games don't really do anything for you. It's, you only get one chance in real life, so. Running the exercise again, Ori leads his team into the shoot house. Basically, it's all about quickness and violence of action. The faster you can get through, and the more violent you are, the better chance you have of surviving. He says they're as ready as they could be for that one real-life chance. But at this point, it's still a potential deployment for the global war on terror. And that is, that's the best phrasing for it, Dan, is potential deployment. There's no definite. They, they, they are as likely to go as they are as likely not to go. Really? Absolutely. At, at this point, at really? At this point, okay. yes, really. 50-50? Yeah, absolutely. Wherever they go, if they go. Coming! The men and women of the 163rd will adapt. And Sergeant Ori Becker says training like this will make their assignments muscle memory. With the Montana National Guard outside Boise, Idaho, I'm Dan Boyce for Montana's News Station.